Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, another Saturday, another shave. Here we go. We've got a good one lined up for you today, but there's some explaining to do first, so let's crack on with it. First order of the day, Saturday morning. Sun's out, guns out, chill out. Here we go. We're on a Timmy's today, guys. Well, actually, it's Timmy's cut. It's actually Costa, not yeah, Costa Coffee. If you live outside of the UK, Costa's our version of Starbucks. Uh, but Starbucks, you have no need to worry. Right, here we go. Today, right, we'll get this into soap. This is the brush now, I say it every time. Let's see if we can try and make the light dance off it. It's a beautiful, almost holographic, Silver grey, blue and black. Now the colours all mingle. It's an absolutely stunning brush from Strike Gold Shades. It's one of my favourite brushes, this guy's. Absolutely love this brush. Very kindly gifted to me from someone who wishes to remain anonymous. There you go. Um, so he shall remain nameless. Our Texan wet shaver. <laughs> Thank you. Right, um, what am I doing today? Guys, honestly, that razor we're going to be using today. Here it is, check out Holy Black SR-71, uh, named after the, the aircraft, SR-71 Blackbird. Uh, and it was the SR-72, I think, the son of the SR-71, was used at the start of the recent Top Gun movie, so I believe. So we're watching Top Gun tomorrow. It's been released on TV here, on the Sky TV. So we're going to be uh, using that today. There you go. <laughs> oh, let's put that there. It's a slant razor. I've used it once before and it gave a really good shave. Repairer Platinum Lux. Very, very, very good blade to these guys. Super, super smooth. Super, super sharp. I've pulled two out. Let's get that back there. Yeah, yeah. Fastly becoming my number one blade, these guys. There you are, repair of looks. If you get a chance to try them, please do so. I absolutely love them. There you go, and look. There you go, repair of looks. Camera's not picking it up. It's actually quite nice and black. That stands out quite well. We'll get it in there. Get that in there. Can you tell I'm chilled, guys? Here we go. Absolutely wonderful. And there, there's a little bit of overhang. That's not gonna problem us. Look at that. It's a stumpy little behemoth. HB, holy black, absolute wonderful. We'll get that in there next to the brush. The soap we're going to be using today, check this out, HC and C. I printed off the wrong label, guys. There you go, look. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful, but here you go. The soap it is, the thumbnail's correct. I superimposed that label on, because I realised after I'd taken the picture and printed off the label, I actually printed off the wrong label. So the soap I'm using, it was a gift from Reed. It was a sample Reed sent me, and it's this stuff here. It's called Badass. Rumour has it, the guy from Hendrix saw a couple of my videos, said that guy's badass and made the soap. Here we go. Right, this soap uh, is made with our top shelf base. Let's try and get it. It's a masculine scent. Um, citrus notes provide excellent contrast with the depths of oak moss and white cedar wood. Be absolutely honest with you guys. I don't get cedar wood, I don't get oak moss, and I don't get citrus. What I do get, the best way I can describe it, and if, if HCNC ever see this, you might not thank me for it. Uh, Horlicks, um, to drink before you go to bed. Horlicks, cocoa, uh, do you have it over here? It's like a, like a malted cocoa, uh, what? malt drink uh, you have it hot before you go to bed it helps you sleep it's called horlicks this smells like a cologne type version of horlicks to me very very nice very very soothing 
an absolute wonderful fragrance, but I don't pick up any of the notes that that said. So, uh, Reed, if you're watching, um, what is it? Is it really that uh, badass, or is it a different one? Thank you all the same, my friend. There you go. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna balm up with carve. <laughs> uh, sorry, wrong video. Wrong video. Gonna balm up with carve. It's not carve. Do you know what it is? It's boots, fresh wood. Um, balm and that I got the carburetor razor and that sticker came with it so I just stuck it on there because when I did my first carb shave I thought it looked okay and would get everybody thinking he's got carb balm he's got carb balm and then they'd click and by the time they'd realized that it wasn't a carb balm be too late I'd already have the view <laughs> there and here we go guys platinum fine platinum I got this from Pastor's Pharmacy. I don't like to mention it because I know uh, a lot of people can't get there. I don't like to keep mentioning Pastor's Pharmacy. I really don't. But I got, I didn't get that from um, the one on 34th Street. I don't know if a lot of you are aware. There's actually two Pastor's Pharmacy in New York. And the other one is up there on Lexington Avenue. And uh, I wanted Fine American Blend. 34th Street, I think we'd run out. But we walked it up to the one on Lexington and they had one American blend and one of those left. So I got them both. Here we go. Fine platinum. Somebody said that's a take on Creed, the Ventus. I don't know. But either way, it's going to go nice with today's shave. Let's wet the face and crack on. Oh, yeah. Late one again today, guys. As as uh, life just continues to get back to normal, I don't think we realise the absolute hectic pace we were living at pre-lockdown. And it is taking some adjusting to to get back. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Never used this before. Let's see where we go. Damp brush, you know how I like to roll. I like to create a paste on the brush and then lather on the face. Oh, look at this it's a hard soap um, I can tell you right now as you, you can actually see can't you it's going to be a thirsty soap so we'll just ever so slightly dip those tips there the scent strength on this I would put at about a five um, yeah it neither diminishes nor increases It, like I said, it's a pleasant scent, it just doesn't match the scent notes. Reed sent it to me in this shave stick thing. Um, that's what Reed sent it to me, and I took it out and put it in the pot. But Reed said to me, it's not that, it's not the one that comes in that. He put it in that for safe travels. Thank you, Reed. I'm going to keep that and put a stick, and, uh, try and get a stick from Hendrix to put in there, you know. But, um, so yeah, I wasn't sure. I said to him, you know, what, what, what is it? And he, he sent back saying that it was that one. But um, the, the scent notes don't match, so. I'm wondering maybe if they're faded with being taken out with time, or maybe Reed's just picked up the wrong pot. I don't know. But either way, thank you, Reed. I'll check his channel out, Shave Cave. Gives me a chance to try HC and C. I've never tried Hendrix Classics. Always wanted to. Look at this, absolutely wonderful. Why have I never tried them? There's only so much money. There's only so much money knocking around, guys. So you have to pick your battles, don't you? Especially, especially when you're. you're Buying stuff from overseas, you know. So, look at this. Can't argue with it. Wow. I could keep going and going with that, guys, with the water. Uh, but I don't want to. Here we go. Holy Black, SR71. Are you tempted to watch this whistling? Go on, see if I can. Are you ready? Did that whistle all the way through? No, no. There you go. Oh, 
this, this is, this, the name of that salt is what they should have called this razor. This is a, this is a beast, this razor, guys. Absolutely love it. And you know what, I feel really guilty, but when Samantha, I hope she doesn't watch this video, when Samantha bought it for me, because Samantha bought me this razor. And, and uh, I opened it and I was like, oh, oh, thank you so much. And then I walked in the bedroom on my own and shut the door and I was like, But then I used it, and I've grown to love it. It's an absolute, don't judge me guys, it's an absolute big, but don't judge me. I'm sure people have bought you wonderful presents. And in that initial moment you've thought, I can't be the first can I? But <laughs> it's wonderful. It's small and stumpy with a big head, Samantha said like me. Where's she looking? But I have to be honest with you guys. As far as shaving goes, it's exceptional. It's a wonderful shaver. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. So how are you all? How are your shades of the day? And more importantly, here we go. How are your slopes of the day? Check this out, guys. You know, I like my jam shed. This is a new one for me. See that? Malbec. Can't get it here, but yet the other side of Manchester, they seem to get it for fun. And that was gifted to me by a colleague from work. Thank you, Nick. Um, he watches the videos, he knows I like jam shed. He bought one and he said while he was at it, he bought himself one out of curiosity. <laughs> no, he absolutely loves it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have been there, uh, locked on by the SR 71, the laser guided missile. Oh, here we go. So yeah, tell me what your slopes of the day is. Tell me what your shape of the day is. Uh, yeah, anything. Just just uh, let me know about the shape as well. Good and bad. And how's your week been? How's your week been? There isn't really a lot to talk about. It's just been bed and work, bed and work, bed and work, you know. I got in from work. There's nothing exceptional about me. It's it's, um, it's been a busy week, but isn't it for everybody, you know. So, uh, I got in from work yesterday. Lay on the bed, fell asleep, just for an hour. Uh, got up, had a shower, had a meal. I went back to bed, <laughs> you know, uh, so that's it, it's been a combination of things, you know. But like I said, it's no different for anybody else, is it? I think that might be a spot. Top to spot, so. Um, quite a few people have said to me, what is it you do, John? Well, I fill vending machines, but they're not, it's not tea, coffee, sugar and all this stuff. Um, it's kind of the same machines, you know, with a swirly packet and you put your money in and it swirls like that and pushes forward a, a bar of chocolate. Well, mine distribute gloves and valves and drill bits and batteries and Allen keys. Stuff like that. And I go and I fill those machines up. 
and we do bits of maintenance on them, you know. And uh, there's a new one just came on, and the new one is like sanding belts and grinding discs and look I've been caught again wow we this is supposed to be a relaxing Saturday morning shit and it is it is oh man wow no I can feel that that's let me lean in that's a cut that a proper cut here we go one mittens was that three passes guys oh my word well there isn't a lot there isn't a lot yeah. oh well so have you used this razor if you have let me know what you think about it It's an aggressive beast, guys, it is. Oh, yeah, it is an absolute aggressive beast. Whoa, but that's it. That's how we shave. Done. Whoa. Whoa. So what are the plans for the Saturday afternoon? Well, I'm going to upload this video. Uh, and then I will probably chill out, me and my wife are having a meal and watching a movie this evening we're not watching Top Gun we're saving that tomorrow because Samantha's out today so we're saving Top Gun tomorrow the Maverick we're all going to watch that we've seen it but it is the kind of film you can watch over and over again yeah, what do you think? we did okay didn't we guys? Hey, we did okay that is what, what do you call it? Um, PDS we'll go PDS go on should we do it? Pretty damn smooth. There you go. That's my Cletus, the slack jawed yokel impersonation. This is gonna sting. Actually, that's not that bad at all. Oh my word. God, it smells divine though. See, on the one half of it, I wanna use it up because I want that bottle. It's a wonderful bottle on the other half. Don't want to use it up. Absolutely wonderful. So there you go. Let's get some of this boots, fresh wood, bit of a mix. Come on! <laughs> oh my word, that'll do. Bit of a mishmash today. Bit of a mix up, eh? We had a shave. We had some fun. We got cut, eh? You can't. You can't get much closer than board, can you? Absolutely wonderful. Oh yeah, and Sinatra Lennon. These latest videos. I've got the best subscribers. I thought, have you been watching Mark Zaredi? Only one guy in town got the best subscribers and you're looking at him. Look after yourselves, guys. Look after each other. And remember, I know I say it a lot. In a cold, hard world. You be the beacon of warmth and light. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Got a good one lined up for Wednesday. See, I say that every week, you know, one of these days. If I can, deathly serious, I'm going to go. Rubbish. The shave I've got lined up for you on Wednesday. <clears throat> Garbage. Look after yourselves, guys. It isn't. I was just me saying, you know. Like, so don't say it and think I'm not watching Wednesday. Anyway, I've got to go. Look after yourselves. Bye.